Hey guys, welcome back to Pink Clothes AJ. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the new alphas. You may or may not know, but there's new alphas in Animal Jam, and they are amazing. The forest is beautiful. I love that purple color. It's gorgeous. I need it, definitely. But here's the problem. The only way to get these new alphas is actually from the new clover chest. So before you open that alpha chest, you've been keeping in your inventory for a while. Maybe just don't do that just yet because you're actually not going to be able to get any of the new alphas in it. I think it's really interesting that Animal Jam decided to do this. I guess it gives you a reason to do the clover chest because it was funny before I was like, I'm not even going to like collect these things. It's just the same items. <laughs> I was very wrong. I am now very much looking for clover chests and opening them. I've opened a lot and I haven't gotten an alpha yet, but you know what? I'm not going to give up hope. I'm going to keep trying until I get one. So now that we know how to get the alphas, let me show you guys some tips on how to get the clover chest a little bit easier. This one is a tip that I do every time and it's helped me receive the chest a lot faster. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna go into your game settings, you're gonna wanna turn your music completely off and your sound all the way up. And basically what you're gonna wanna do then is just listen, you're gonna wanna go to, let's just say any land, Jama Township, as soon as you spawn in there, you either will hear a little twinkling noise like this or you won't hear anything at all, just the normal noises. If you hear the twinkling noise that I just showed you guys, that means there is a shovel somewhere in there. I found this to be really helpful because I always know immediately as soon as I hear if there's a noise, so don't just spend time just looking around a land forever for a shovel that isn't there. Also, I want to just quickly tell you guys, do not skip when you see one of those rainbow clover pots sitting around. I actually heard that somebody got a wind-up key, an alpha wind-up key from it. Now, I don't think you can maybe get the new alphas, but it sounds like you can get old alphas. So if you're in the land and you see one, hey, why not click on it? Because, you know, it might just be an alpha. My next tip, which might be very obvious, but don't just stay in one land waiting for a shovel to spawn. You're going to keep actually moving around using the tip that I just showed you guys. I actually pretty much, if you ever watch me do it, I might put a clip in on how fast I move around just to show you guys how fast I'm looking for shovels. Because all I'm doing is listening. I'll just show you guys how fast I move around. You basically get the point. I do that pretty much just constantly and all I'm doing is listening for that little twinkling sound. Then I would know that there's a shovel nearby and I can go and get a clover chest. Also, my last little tip is, which might not help you out, but I recommend being a member because you'd be surprised how nice it is to have the re-roll with something like this. I get to re-roll every single chest because I'm a member. Now, if you're saying, I don't want to spend real money, I totally get you. I don't spend any real money in the game. I use sapphires. But if you go to the sapphire shop, if you need about 600 sapphires, you can get a one-month membership. And it's very useful in something like this because you're getting so many more chances of getting an alpha because you're re-rolling every single chest. So my little tip, I don't know. It's just I found that re-rolling is very helpful right now. So, I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you guys. I'm really curious to know, have you guys gotten an alpha yet? Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, guys!